Um, this is a question that I ask most of the people that is, do you use atomic clock? Okay. Uh, more often than not, the answer is mm, no. Right. But let me tell you this. Since 1967, everybody, whomsoever is looking at the time, are indirectly dependent on atomic clocks. Because since 1967, the definition of time itself is based on the cesium oscillations, right? Now, having said this, there is no direct impact on, you know, people's lives. Let's take a few other examples, which we are totally dependent upon these days. Uh, the GPS or GNSS, as it is called, Global Navigation Satellite Systems, um, we are heavily dependent upon this. Think about all the um, everyday activities that people do, taking an Uber, you know, going from point A to B. Um, when you order things on Swiggy and Zomato, for example, he needs to know where he has to come in order to deliver your food, right? Now, that's one aspect. And the second thing is the power grid synchronization. If you're transmitting the power from one big city to the other city, due to the phaser changes between these two uh, distant cities, you will have huge power losses unless you synchronize the timing. Okay, so therefore there is a pretty good synchronization that is necessary and this is done via GPS or satellite signals. Okay, so there are n number of applications that you can think of which is directly impacting everyday lives. And, and therefore, um, billions of dollars is at stake when imagine that you, know, you don't have the navigation capability for a day or two. How many activities are going to stop because of that? <laughs>